Hi, I've recently just learned what these words actually mean for violin playing and today I thought I would share with you in this video why I think this is so important to know and understand as beginning players. Much of the difficulty with playing the violin has to do with the physical aspect of learning how to hold the violin with the left hand and with the right hand learning about bowing mechanics. So first let's try and define what these words mean. Uh, starting with pronation, it refers to the rotation of the forearm which brings the palm of the hand to face the ground like this. And we feel this motion the most when um, we're at the very tip of the bow. So when we're reaching out, so imagine this was my bow, we're reaching out um, this rotation that I feel um, is a big stretch around this area of my, my arm. And then for the left hand is the exact opposite. This rotation which brings the palm of the hand to face upwards and then we bring it to the back of the room and then tilt to the side. Um, as you can see, both are being rotated in um, different directions and this is pretty uncomfortable. So uh, one way to remember this um, quickly is just the, you know pronation is when your palm is facing downwards and sibination is when your palm is facing upwards. Notice how it's impossible to rotate the hand from the wrist alone. Um, if you try to do that you will injure yourself and displace your wrist. Um, so it's really important to understand that the motion begins at the elbow. So this rotation of the forearm brings the hand along with it and it feels very much like opening a doorknob. Now this pronation of the right hand helps with um, adding a weight to the bow. So let me just hold on to my bow here. So this rotation of the wrist, can you see how I'm rotating from the wrist, is adding weight to the index finger which is then transferred to the bow. So it's really helpful to um, to be able to do that when you're accenting certain notes that you might encounter in the music. On the left hand we supinate to this angle to help us bring the pinky closer to the fingerboard. This too feels very uncomfortable, but over time you will develop flexibility in your forearm rotations um, and eventually feel somewhat comfortable. Um, I say this because I remember uh, first trying out my cello over there and thinking to myself how uncomfortable it was compared to the violin. And this was the moment when I thought to myself, um, the violin has really um, has really warmed up on me <laughs> and this is uh, this reminds me of the saying um, you know you you mold your body to the instrument that you're playing and it's it's certainly the case with the violin you can practice the motion without the instrument like so um, you know like this and um, hopefully this will uh, help you to prevent injuries in the future and help to set you up for the violin. So I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you on my next one. Bye!